Hi, my name is Shelly Jyoti. I'm a visual and a textile artist based in New Delhi, India. My work centers around um, uh, building moral and peaceful societies. Uh, my art practice focuses on Gandhi and his philosophy, building uh, uh, um, uh, the peaceful societies and taking on his uh, movements and, uh, and narrating them through the uh, textile artworks and the installations. Um, uh, this is about me as an artist. Um, Laura and me collaborated in 2008. I was invited for a solo show uh, at Women Made Gallery in Chicago, and I met Laura there. Uh, my name is Laura Kina, and I'm a painter, an artist in Chicago, and a professor at DePaul University. And a lot of my work explores uh, my Okinawan heritage and background and Asian American themes. And as Shelley mentioned, we met in Chicago way back in 2008. Yes. And the interesting thing was that when I met Laura for the first time um, and I asked her, so what do you like about my work? And she says, you know, there is some kind of a commonality in our work. And that evening she had a lecture at Northwestern University and I went along with her. And uh, I looked at the uh, images that she was showing to the students and I felt there was a lot of weaving, which is common between because of her Japanese uh, background. And, um, and we, we just thought we had a coffee next day and we thought, let's do something together. Yeah, so and, we, we decided to collaborate around this theme of indigo, the color indigo, the color blue, and uh, the ideas of indigo. And I made work about my neighborhood in Chicago, Little India and Devon Avenue, and the history of it, how it used to be Orthodox Jewish and now is a South Asian predominant neighborhood. And so I used the color blue to make works about that. And then Shelly. And my work, uh, I touched upon the history of uh, uh, indigo farmers in India, which is the early 19th century, and uh, the subsequent uh, Gandhi's intervention uh, uh, to, to uh, stop the indigo farmers growing indigo and give them the freedom from the British uh, for this. And, um, uh, and I also touched upon, explored the idea of indigo as a plant color and a dye, and the contemporization of the dye uh, is a technique, uh, is a textile technique called ajrak. And I uh, created a lot of work with that technique on uh, the fabric called Khadi, which was one of the movement in our country to fight for the British. So since then, I've been using uh, this technique through my artworks and, uh, and that is it. And so, of course, yeah. Yeah. besides being an international collaboration, both of us work with artisans to create some of our works. So one of the works that's in this exhibition, um, it's a street sign banner. Uh, in Chicago, we have you know, the name of the street and a lot of times you have honorary street names. So the street I live on also is named um, you know, Gandhi and Golda uh, Marg. So I, I had a fair trade women's organization in Mumbai, India, hand embroider that. And then the other one, another piece that's in the exhibition, I uh, sewed and, and painted it with different street signs in my neighborhood. And it takes the form of a Japanese boro quilt. And then just now we had sort of a reunion collaboration and Shelly, you wanna talk about the kite we made together? I know. So um, we came to know about the reimagining uh, Global Village. Uh, uh, Nirmal invited us over uh, to participate in this show and it was really exciting for us. And I was in Chicago and Laura and me discussed how are we going to come up with this collaborative work. Um, and uh, from since me, I, uh, I mean, I thought about uh, uh, sending a message of Gandhi, which said, uh, the meaning of spinning, spinning wheel is larger than its circumference. So I, when I came back to India, I first, this, this is the piece that I created, I created a spinning wheel and um, I used a lot of threads, but the threads came when the pandemic started because we didn't know where we were going. I had already created this piece thinking of uh, as a collaborative work, but when I wanted to send a message of the epoch that the times we are into, I started to use the threads in between my work as if life continues uh, and there's a continuity of life. The epoch may have come, the, the COVID-19 who's created a big uh, um, pandemic and misery in, for the whole humanity well, around the globe and planet. How do I show there's a continuity? Things would may, uh, uh, may get better. And then, uh, then I posted, finished my work and I sent it to Laura. 
and now Laura can and take off. I fashioned it into a kite. And then right now, you know, I'm going through some huge changes in my life and everything that's going on. And I just thought of the word breathe and just right now, just happy to be alive. And I think the best uh, thing about our collaboration, honestly, is like, I have an amazing friend. And this is now over a decade long of collaborating together and friendship. And we both have learned so much about each other's cultures. Uh, that's something, now that to me is the best thing. <laughs> Absolutely. And what I need to tell you is that Laura is so systematic that uh, when, oh, I when you're collaborating together, one of the most important thing is your planning. And we would plan it together. And and the time difference, see, Laura, what was the time difference? And, you know, I would tell her at night, uh, this is what we are planning. But next day morning, because of the time difference, she would have everything ready. And then the, similar, when we would discuss the things were coming in my code to finish. And, and by even, so this works went very speedily. One of the greatest things about um, collaborations, I feel, is the trust. Mm -hmm. and uh, trust in each other. So I think that, uh, 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 and probably admiring each other also, yeah. I would. We also you know, went way out of our comfort zone and took risks and both of us grew and changed so much. So I, I really, I love how you have impacted and changed my life for the better. Oh, well, thank you, Laura, <laughs> so much. Uh, it holds true for me. It was a lot of learning for me. Uh, Laura is a professor of art media and design. So her understanding of media 10 years back was much higher than uh, when well, I was I knew just... nothing about textiles or fashion. So, yeah. so it, it, it was a win-win for both of us, I would say. And, and, and as Laura said, that it was a friendship evolved and um, the families are uh, also very, very close to each other. Yeah. And we discuss even now, even this is a piece of art that we've created um, uh, but uh, for any other thing, we are uh, for each other, and uh, we do discuss art, professional uh, growths in our uh, in our careers, recipes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a piece, yes. And um, I think the most important part uh, about this collaboration, I would say, is the synergy. Is the synergy that we had, and uh, um, also. Uh, the technology of Skype and Google Drives and how fast we were sending our things. So technology really helped us uh, move ahead uh, from one exhibition to another. This exhibition traveled uh, nine different locations, if I'm not wrong, Laura. Maybe you even could, more across yeah. India and all across the United States. 